A and IS level mathematics. Lesson 10. Moving on from algebra, I'm going to be looking at sequences and series. In this session, we're going to be looking at ways to describe sequences and writing down sequences. Now, ways to describe sequences. There are several ways you can describe sequences. Some you can just recognise and put in words. The even numbers. The multiples of two. But the way we're going to be looking at describing sequences is one way how they are going up. Each previous term has two added to it. So that's going to be our first way of describing this sequence. Each term has two added to the previous term. The other way is to look at a particular term. Now if we call that the first term, and this is the second, and this is the third, and so on, we can spot that the third term, 6, is actually 2 times 3. Fourth, fifth. The fifth term is actually 2 times 5. So one way to describe this sequence is that each term has 2 added to the previous term. The second way to describe this sequence is to say that each position of a term multiplied by 2 gives you the term itself. So let's have a look at the idea of each term is produced by adding something to the previous term. So let's give the first four terms of a sequence when it's described like this, and this is in relation to the previous term. So we need to understand this notation, un, un minus 1. Well, un is any term at all in the sequence. un minus 1 will be the previous term. We will come across un plus 1, which will be the next term. So this is any term in the sequence. This is the previous term to the any term. And this is the next term to the any term. So this is in fact saying, to get the next term, you add 3 to the previous term. To get the next term, you add 3 to the previous term. This is saying the first term is going to be 4. So in other words, you could say n equals 1 there. So when n equals 2, in other words, the second term, I add 3 to the previous term. I add 3 to the previous term. The third term, in other words, n equals 3, n equals 3, is the previous term which was 7, add on 3, and so on. The fourth term will therefore be 13. Give the first four terms of this sequence, where we're given the information in relation to the previous term. So, the term we're considering is 3 times the previous term, subtract 2. So we're going to start off with the first term, and the first term is 5. So when n equals 2, the next term, we're going to need the previous term and multiply by 3. 3 fives of 15, subtract 2. When n equals 3, I'm going to need the previous term, in other words, 3 take away 1, which is the second term, multiply it by 3, take away 2. So 3 thirteens, 30. Um, 9, take away 2, 37. And so on, we can work out the terms in this series. Each new term is 3 times the previous term, subtract 2. So our first term is 2. Our next term, our second term, now this is written slightly differently. This is saying the next term is 1 over the previous term. 
because n plus 1 is the next term and this is the term we're working with. So the next term is 1 over the previous term. So u3 is actually going to be 1 over a half, which is the same as saying 1 divided by a half, and 1 divided by a half is 2. So in fact this sequence is going to go 2, half, 2, half, 2, half, and so on. So now we see that this can be written other ways. un plus 1 and un, this is the previous term with respect to this term. So each term is the previous term multiplied by 3 and taken away from 6. Now so far all of them I've worked out in my head. Whether you work them out in your head or actually write something down depends on you. So let's have a look at this one. So the second term is in fact going to be 6 minus 3 multiplied by the previous term. That's 12. 6 minus 12 is minus 6. The third term is going to be 6 minus 3 multiplied by the previous term. Now this is minus 18. Minus minus 18 will be plus 18. 6 plus 18. I think you can see why this time I've decided to write the working out down. 6 minus the previous term. So this is 6 minus 3 times the previous term. That was careless, wasn't it? 6 minus 3 times the previous term. So that's 6 minus 72. And so on. Now let's move on and consider the other way of writing the description of the series. Give the first four terms of the sequence in relation to the position. In other words, we're given the nth term. So, if I want to work out the first term, this tells me that the first term, u1, is 2 multiplied by u1 plus 5. In other words, the first term is going to be two ones plus five. The second term, so we're working it out with respect to the position. The second term, in other words, u2, is two multiplied by u2, which is two two to four plus five is nine. The third term is going to be u3, so it equals twice the position u3, which is 2, 3 is a 6, plus 5 is 11. 2, 4 is 8, plus 3. Sorry, I said the wrong thing. That was careless. 2, 4 is 8, plus 5 is 13, and so on. Again, looking at giving the first four terms of a sequence in relation to the position given the nth term. The nth term is 2 raised to the power of n plus 2. That's the nth term. So if I want u1, in other words the first number, which is u1, I need to do 2 raised to the power of 1 plus 2, which is 2 raised to the power of 3, which you can work out as being 8. The second term, in other words u2, is u2 is 2 raised to the power of 2 plus 2, 2 raised to the power of 4, which is 16. The third term, and we're talking about u3, is 2 raised to the power of 3 plus 2, which is 2 raised to the power of 5, which works out to be 32. And we're asked for the first four, so let's do one more. The fourth term, in other words u4, is 2 raised to the power of n plus 2, n is 4, so that's 6, and that is 64, and so on. Three dots is signifying, and so on to infinity.